Okay, now we'll continue with the same setup, but we're going to pass on to Nikyo, but I'm going to show you a different kind of Nikyo. I mean, you'll recognize it, but it's quite different. Okay, and uh, Joe? Okay, it's awesome. I'll set up as we were for Ikkyo. Come in here, I begin my setup. Down here, I bring him down like this. Then I'm gonna come in here. Step forward. I'm gonna watch the microphone here, okay? And I bring him in like this. Now what do I do next, guys? Crank him on his, you want me to do that? No, I don't think so. I just squat down like we did in Chihuahua. That way, I'm walking his wrist, elbow, shoulder joint. He's like this. If I come and do this, he's gonna say, I thought Stan was a nice guy, but now I don't think so anymore. <laughs> hey, in here, okay, it's done. Again, I, I'm attacking his center not trying to dislocate his wrist. So you lock him up. Thank you, once again. Here. Did a little bit more. Okay. Now he seems to feel that this is the best <laughs> Hi there, try that please. <laughs> uh, I wanna show you the, the setup of the feet, okay? So here I wanna get, really I should do this at the moment of contact. Take the partner here. Now watch. I can kind of start towards Ikkyo. Here. But from here is where it differs. Okay. So that's kind of really what I'm doing with this. This just keeps him occupied. Keeps his body locked. But I'm not doing a, a strong pressure on his wrist. I'm letting my hips do everything. Okay. But he's not going to, uh, he's not going to get hurt from this because I'm not focusing uh, the power on his wrist joint. I'm walking him so he can't move, so he is left without balance, and then I'm controlling his center. That's why it works. Thank you.